Hello all, Dan from DroneBlog.com here. In today's video, we'll go through the steps needed to connect your DJI RC2 to Wi-Fi. Feel free to use the chapters to skip to the areas of the walkthrough that pertain to you. First, turn the RC2 on by pressing the power button once, then immediately pressing and holding the power button. The RC2 will turn on and boot up going to the DJI home screen. Now, swipe down once on the top of the screen, similar to how you would on an Android device or iPhone, and this will bring down the notification shade. Now swipe down a second time, and you'll be brought to the main settings screen. On the settings screen, you'll see a variety of options ranging from Wi-Fi to RC brightness and sound and screen recording, just to mention a few. To quickly enable or disable Wi-Fi, tap the Wi-Fi icon. Now, if you need to set Wi-Fi on the DJI RC2 or choose a new connection, press and hold the Wi-Fi icon. You'll now be brought into the Wi-Fi network screen. You can now choose the network you would like to connect to. After choosing a network, you'll be prompted to enter the Wi-Fi password, after which you'll connect. When you connect to Wi-Fi in the future, you'll automatically connect to the available Wi-Fi network the RC2 last successfully connected to. Now, why connect to Wi-Fi? Since Wi-Fi isn't critical to flying the Air 3, this is a question many who initially start flying DJI drones wonder about. There are two very specific reasons why, as an Air 3 owner with a DJI RC2, you'd want to connect to Wi-Fi. One would be to install firmware updates, and the second would be to access flight maps offline within DJI Fly. Additionally, those who use a RCN2 controller with a cell phone may want to connect Wi-Fi for the additional purpose of using the quick transfer feature. We'll talk first about firmware updates. DJI adds new features, tweaks, and fixes to the Air 3 which improves the user experience. The only way to benefit from these additions is by updating the firmware. To update the firmware, you'll need to have a solid Wi-Fi signal. Now, while you can surely connect to your phone's hotspot via Wi-Fi while out in a location flying, it is suggested to update the firmware from a solid Wi-Fi connection from home or indoors. Now, we'll look at flight maps a little. When in the DJI Fly app, on the lower left side of the camera view is your flight map. If you're not connected to Wi-Fi via your cell phone hotspot, nor have you flown in that particular area prior, you won't have a detailed view of the surrounding flight areas. Connecting to your phone via Wi-Fi while on location will download the area map. Now alternatively, while connected to Wi-Fi at your home, you can navigate to where you plan to fly beforehand zoom in on the location, and an offline map of the area will be stored in the RC2. Now we'll talk briefly about Quick Transfer and the Light Cut app, and this is for those who are using an RCN2. The Quick Transfer feature is intended for those who use DJI Fly with a smartphone and an RCN2 remote controller. The Quick Transfer feature allows you to wirelessly export content via Wi-Fi from your Air 3's SD card to an Android or Apple smartphone or device running DJI Fly. And this is all without having to power on the remote or even have it nearby. This is ideal for those who would like to quickly edit their photos or videos and immediately share them with family, friends, or on social media. Now here's something to note. If you're using an RC2, you can't use the quick transfer feature to export photos or videos to the remote controller. See, the RC2 doesn't have editing functions, so transferring content is not currently supported. Editing needs to be done on an Android or iOS smart device running DJI Fly. Now additionally, once videos are transferred from the Air 3 to a smart device, you can use DJI's recommended light cut video editor on that device. Using AI and a series of templates, light cut allows you to edit videos directly on your mobile device without having to export them to Final Cut Pro, Adobe Premiere, or DaVinci Resolve. That's all for this video. If you have specific questions about this or our other videos, 
we'd love for you to join us at DronePilots.com. For more tutorials and reviews, head to DroneBlog.com.